Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And today we're talking about whether or not you should buy the Lawrence Hook Reveal or if you should consider buying a Humminbird Helix unit. When I was designing this video and really thinking about how I wanted to do this video, I really started thinking about the average angler. Um, maybe one of those that really doesn't get out the fish a whole lot, but really wants to step up their game for the very first time. Obviously, you're going to be looking at the hook reveal or at Humminbird Helix or maybe even a garment unit. I wanted to make a comparison between what I thought two of the best fish finders for stepping up your game is. So we have the hook reveal and we have the Humminbird Helix. Now I chose to look closer at the seven inch models. Uh, both of these models kind of came in the same price range and provided a, a, enough features for you to consider to buy them uh, to step up your game. Now the Humminbird Helix has a couple nuances uh, when I do some comparisons with it. There's a, a non-networking model and a networking model uh, that changes the price considerably but I think we should look at those in comparison to the hook reveal to make it a complete comparison. And that way you're more educated on whether or not you want to buy the Helix or the hook reveal. The models I wanted to take a closer look at were the Lowrance hook reveal, the seven inch model with a triple shot transducer and the Humminbird Helix, the seven inch with the Mega SI. Now, Humminbird just released information about their G4 and their G4Ns, uh, but we're also going to include the G3 and the G3N information as well. Since price is a deciding factor for many of us, let's jump right in and start off with the price of these units. The Lorenz Hook Reveal, the triple shot, the seven inch model comes in at $650. The Humminbird Helix, the seven inch model, for the G3 and the G4, these, those are the both the non-networking models, they're both $700. And if you want to step up to a networking model, the G3N is $800 and the G4N is $900. So the upper model for the G4N is considerably more expensive than the hook reveal. So keep that in mind as we talk about features, you are buying more fish finder, uh, obviously with the G4N than you are a hook reveal. All the units I just mentioned, all of them use keypad controls. None of them have touch screens to utilize to help you move through menus a little faster. They're all using the keypads on the right side. Uh, so either way, you're gonna get a keypad to use. As far as networking goes, the hook reveal doesn't have networking capabilities. Neither does the G3 or G4. The only two that have networking capabilities and you're gonna pay the price for them is the G3N and the G4N. So why is networking an important subject? Well, if you're looking to buy a fish finder that you can invest in in the future, I think networking is an important feature to have. If you're looking for a standalone fish finder where you're not looking to network or grow uh, multiple fish finders, one on the bow or multiple at the console, it's probably not as important to have networking in those situations. So if you're looking to buy a fish finder that you can build a whole boat network out of, it is important to consider the networking ones. Hey guys, I want to pause here for a minute and ask you to subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out in my growing channel. It'll help me keep making great content like this for you guys. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff, helping you guys make decisions, uh, showing you new baits, trying new things out, even making entertaining fishing videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can always unsubscribe later if you would like but it would help me out if you did. Now let's talk about live imaging. This is gonna be like your live scopes, your active target, and the up and coming mega live imaging. Well, there's only one unit here that is capable of running any kind of live sonar system, 
and that's going to be the G4N Helix. Now this is the seven inch model, so keep that in mind uh, as you step up in models, uh, the capabilities expand a little more. But the hook reveal, not gonna have any live imaging available with it, and neither is the G3s, the G4s, uh, or the G3N. So like I said before, unless you're planning on expanding into live imaging, uh, this subject may or may not be important to you, but just note that the G4N is the only one capable of running Mega Live or any other live imaging sonar. Now, most of us know that Lowrance doesn't have any kind of 360 imaging, but I just want to iterate that the 7 inch models, no matter what you're looking at, none of them support. 360 imaging, so you don't have to worry about that on the Hummingbird side, definitely not on the Laurent side. So if you're looking for maybe something that's got 360 capabilities, you probably need to step up into the Hummingbird Helix 8. So I know it kind of seems like I've been harping on a lot of Hummingbird Helix features, but let's talk one about the Laurent's hook reveal. A feature that I find pretty useful on my Lowrance Elite 9 Ti, and this is the fish reveal. This reveals your fish on your down scan sonar. So you'll be using your higher frequencies, the 455 or the 800 kilohertz, and it will overlay on top your 2D sonar image of what it believes are fish. It's looking for fish arches, and it'll overlay those on top of your down scan. Now this is highly convenient because you're only on a seven inch screen. So you can't really run, you can, but it's more convenient to have them overlaid. It's less convenient to have them side by side, the down scan and the sonar, but if they're overlaid, that's quite a bit more convenient. And I find it pretty handy when identifying fish on my down scan imaging, it's just pretty handy to be like, oh, that's clearly a fish now. Uh, or before I may have thought it was a rock. Just a note real quick, Hummingbird doesn't really have anything like that. You're gonna have to start reading your sonar, your down scan or down imaging a little better to help yourself identify what a, what a fish is and what a fish isn't. Normally for me, screen resolution isn't a driver into getting a fish finder, but it does play a little bit into the background for me. And when I'm talking about screen resolution between these two, uh, they're both seven inch models. So we're really talking about pixel density, the number of pixels in a certain area. I'm trying not to make this too complex for you know, some of us that don't understand this very well. I had to learn about it myself. So it's the number of pixels in a certain area. Uh, so pretty simply, the seven inch on the hook reveal is, I'm sorry, I'm gonna look at my notes here. I can't ever remember these. 800 by 480, so it's 800 pixels across and 480 pixels tall. And on the Helix, it is 1,024 across and 600 vertical. So you have a lot more pixels to distinguish different things on your Hummingbird Helix than you do a hook reveal. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you're looking at fine, fine details, which you may be uh, trying to do with a seven inch screen, trying to depict whether or not that's a rock or uh, that's a fish, uh, it's important on the Hummingbird to know that you have those extra pixels. Maybe not so important uh, if you're using the fish reveal on the hook reveal. Okay, now that was kind of funny how that worked out. But if you're using fish reveal on the hook reveal, uh, that may not be as important. So overall, as far as mapping goes between these two, they're pretty much a wash. I might give a little bit to the Hummingbird Helix uh, but let's talk about them real quick. Uh, for the hook reveal, you can use the CMAP cards, you can use Navionics, or you can use the CMAP Genesis to make your own maps of your own lakes. So if you have a lake that, uh, that doesn't have a map to it, or maybe it's not as accurate as you would like it to be, you can uh, use that to scan over those areas and make your own. 
Likewise, on Hummingbird, they have Lake Master maps. It's personal maps that that company makes. They go out and survey these waters. Uh, and they have different definitions as well. They have standard definition and high definition maps. They also have created something called Smart Strike. Uh, it's a way that you can use your maps and search for specific types of structure and cover. Uh, so you want to look for points or ledges, uh, ditches, and that kind of thing. You can do a quick search and it'll highlight all those on the lake. Or if you want to do something a little more basic, you can do a search for a species, the time of year, uh, the type of conditions that you're fishing. Uh, input those and it'll give you an idea of what kind of areas you should be fishing. I haven't ever used that, so I can't really speak to how useful it is. Uh, the other one seems more enticing to me as being able to find those points and ditches and just have those areas highlighted for you. Seems pretty convenient. Also, you can use the auto chart cards and create your own maps just like Genesis. So since we were talking about maps, let's talk about SD cards and how many slots they have available. Uh, the Hook Reveal has one, the G3 has one, the G3N has one, the G4 and G4N both have two micro SD card slots. So if you want to run uh, a couple maps or back up something at the same time, you have the space and capability to do that. I wouldn't consider this a driving factor, but it is a little added bonus. So for me, one of the largest and probably the most contributing factor in selecting a fish finder is how good its side imaging and down imaging is. Now for me, this one is pretty easy. I have owned both of these uh, Hummingbird Helix with the Mega side imaging and down imaging and the Lowrance and easily the mega imaging is that much crisper that if you're looking for solid and really great quality images uh, where it's easy to distinguish whether there's a fish there or not there, the mega imaging is definitely there. It's definitely where you want to be. Now, if you're a little less concerned about that and you're really wanting to rely on the fish reveal and have a little more basic of a, of a model, the Hook Reveal is a solid option. It still has the 800 kilohertz option, which does provide a lot more detail. It's just not quite there with the mega imaging. So obviously we talked about trolling motor and networking controls a little earlier. I have it on my notes to talk about here. Uh, obviously the networking models are the only ones that you're gonna be able to control or do anything with your trolling motor. So that's the G3N and the G4N of the Hummingbird Helix. The hook reveal doesn't have that and neither do the non-networking helixes. And also both models support 2D sonar. So if you're a pretty basic guy or gal and you just like to use your 2D sonar to identify interesting places to fish, they both support it. And in fact, you can downsize and save yourself some money on both units by going down to just a basic model. Before I uh, finish this video off and give you my opinion on which ones you should consider buying, I wanna ask you guys to smash that like button on this video. Uh, I really worked hard doing some research and presenting this information to you guys. So make sure you smash that like button for me and help this video out. I think I kind of hinted at my opinion earlier in the video, uh, as you could tell, as we moved along this list. I'm definitely, I would definitely lean toward a Helix, but maybe that doesn't suit you. Maybe you are looking for just a standalone unit that sits on your console and you can find really interesting areas to fish. Use marker buoys uh, to locate those areas or just do some general fishing uh, around those areas. If that's exactly what you want to do, well then the hook reveal is right up your alley. It's extremely affordable. Uh, you can even downsize it to uh, a smaller model if you want to go to the 5 inch or if you want something a little larger, they offer it in a 9 inch. Uh, so you can get all that. Uh, you can do the triple shot, the double shot, or you can just do a 2D sonar as well if you would like. The Hummingbird Helix, you can have a similar build as well. 
Uh, I prefer the Helix because the mega imaging is that good to me. I really like the crips solid images that you can get and easily identify uh, rock piles, fish. Uh, you have a little bit more fine tuning that you can do with the Hummingbird Helix. So if you're not really sure that you want to dial in a unit, uh, maybe the hook reveal is a little more your way as well. And lastly, we talked about the networking units as well. Uh, if you want to invest into your fishing and are thinking about growing uh, your fishing profile, your fishing capabilities, the networking one is definitely the way to go. You can get your waypoints uh, between fish finders. You can control all sorts of things. You just will have to invest into that slowly and network it all together. And eventually you're going to have a great fish finding system and a great boat control system uh, once you finally get all the investments done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video guided you to a fish finder. And if it didn't and it left you uh, with a few questions, you guys can always leave them in the comments below. And I'll definitely answer them as soon as possible. I usually get with them, you know, a few hours, if not definitely that day. But just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.